Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a video not about beauty. I know, it's surprising. But I really wanna talk about this because it's something that I love doing. It's um, reading. I love reading and doing word search. So basically those are my three hobbies. Beauty, reading, word search. A girl doesn't need anything else. Pero bueno, let's get started. Basically, I um, have been a Nook owner, first generation Nook, since the first Nook came out. Since Barnes & Noble launched their first Nook, I have owned one, I am a huge fan, and I, it's, it's seriously, it's in perfect condition. Like, it still works, but because recently, they discontinued everybody who owns the first generation of got an email from Barnes and Noble stating that they were no longer going to service it and so you could no longer buy books on the first generation nook hence forcing you to upgrade now i didn't mind that because my nook was almost full already i think i only had two percent worth of memory uh, I feel I could have bought a couple more books before that uh, happened but I went ahead and I when I, I had started to realize that my nook was running out of memory and so two years ago I had bought the nook I think it was um, you know that sleek one that came out uh, two years ago I think it was a nook 7 or something like that uh, not the Samsung, it's not a tablet. This is like the Amazon Paper White um, Kindle, which is the reason I'm making this video to begin with. And so basically, um, I never turned on the Nook when I bought it because I was still using my other one. And um, I just felt like, well, this one's about to run out of memory, so I'll go ahead and just boot this one when I'm ready to use it. Well, fast forward two years later, um, you know, I guess I didn't read as much as I wanted to. Um, you know, there was a lot of things that were going on. I had recently got married. Oh, we bought a house. We moved to a new city. So, whatever, I, for I forgot about it. I get the email for the Nook. Still, I'm still reading on my Nook, so I had to continue to buy books continuously on my Nook. I just, maybe the books weren't big enough, I'm not sure, the memory didn't get full. When I pull it out and I plug it, I follow the instructions and I plug it into the wall, nothing happens. It's not charging, it's not turning on, nothing's happening. So I call their customer service, which is outsourced to another country, and it was the worst customer service I have ever received. Um, they basically told me that because the Nook was under warranty for only one year, they couldn't help me out. Well, the Nook hadn't been turned on. So basically, you sold me a defective device to begin with. And I can understand if I've used it, but I never used it. It was still in the box with all its tags on. And the explanation that I was given was that I um, should have turned it on to make sure that it worked. Um, my response was, I've been a Barnes & Noble's member for over 10 years. And so I trust that what you're selling me is in a working condition. And so whether I turn it on or not, that's my prerogative. You guys are responsible for selling me a device that works. Next response I got was, well, it's common knowledge that if you buy an electronic device and you don't turn it on and plug it in to charge within a year, then that can cause problems with the device. I'm not a tech geek. I've never heard of that in my life. I didn't know that was common knowledge. If it's not common knowledge, or if it is, please let me know in the comments below. I was not aware. None of my friends told me. And a lot of my friends love technology. 
So, um, basically, I was very upset with that whole situation. I was not going to buy another Nook because that left a really bad taste in my mouth. And honestly, it made me sad because Barnes & Nobles is one of the few bookstores that are left in the world. I feel like technology is moving so fast that one day bookstores are going to be one of those things that are in a history book and nobody's gonna know what they really are. And that to me is sad. Like, the importance of paper, books, and just bookstores and libraries are so important to me. Like, I hold them dear to my heart, which is why I'm a member at Barnes & Nobles. I go in there, although I don't buy books um, anymore. The reason why I don't um, I'll buy some here and there, but I've had have had to refrain myself is because I ran out of space. I I ran out of physical space to have these books, and so that's why I had to. the The Nook wasn't something that I bought. It was actually my mom bought it for me. She said, "Don't bring another book into this house. There's no more space. You've run out of space. Every square footage." of your room has books you you need you need to work on that we need to find another solution for this so figure it out and so that's how i ended up with a nook during this whole um issue that i was having with barnes nobles um i ended up amazon was having their prime sale and so what i did was I um, started researching what other e-readers were as good as a Nook because I didn't want a tablet and I didn't want something that was going to burn my eyes. I had LASIK surgery and so um, I've ever since then I've been a little bit sensitive to the light but I can read hours on end and that light whether you have LASIK or, LASIK or not people say that it just it's very damaging to the eye and it makes your eyes tired um you get tired a lot quicker and i can't afford that if i'm reading a good book like I, I i just i gotta go 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 you know what i mean all my heavy readers out there can relate right now especially if you're reading like a thriller or a mystery you're never gonna put that down that's good series you're gonna be there like for four hours reading that um and so that's why i ended up on the prime sale i ended up going with the kindle paper white um the white one uh um, e-reader and let's get started so this is a box that it comes with this is not an unboxing guys I've already unboxed this and I've set it up because I've had P I now have PTSD from my Nook situation and so I took it out of the box and I just put, put it back in because I want you guys to see like what it looks like it comes in this box where it shows you you know the Nook and this is like like a matte satin kind of finish and then this is all glossy and so you just pull it out. If you have an Amazon account with them, they will automatically set this up with all of your information. When you boot it, boot it up, it's gonna have all your stuff in there. Your, all you gotta set up is if you wanna use a different form of payment other than your Amazon Prime account, then that's the only thing that you would have to set up. So it comes in this box and then you just open the flap and it's blue on the inside and it has the tree with the child reading. I'm not going to tell you on um, how many weeks passed by until I realized that there was a tree with a child. That there was a picture right here. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and then on the inside you have a black card that just gives you very simple instructions on what you need to know how to set up your nook. I mean... You see, that's because I've had it for so long, your Kindle. <laughs> and the reason I went with the Kindle was because although it has a light, you can turn it off, even though I've read that it's never completely off, but it looks off to me. Um, it looks like you're looking at an actual book page, which is what I needed in my life. And so inside, you get your Nook. You had two options during the Prime sale. Um, this retailed for like $149 or $139, but then during the sale, it was like $89.99, something like that, or $79.99 if you got it with the ads. If you wanted it without the ads, it was nine. It was $99.99, so $99. Um, I was going to go for the cheaper version, but my husband was like, no, 
he's like, just pay the extra money so that you don't have the ads. And I was kind of like on the fence on that, but I just, whatever. Since Amazon has such like a good return policy, I'll go, okay, whatever. If I, don't, if I don't feel like it's worth the extra money, then I'll return it. And so once you take out the nook, inside um, you have this little Amazon um, sleeve. And this is where the um, cord came in. You only get the cord. You don't get the little block to charge it in. And I'm going to tell you right now, I didn't need the block because I already had a high speed charger. Um, just buy it because it's 20 bucks. I was a little bit upset that Amazon didn't include the cube. I really was. But you know, whatever. I already had one, so it didn't make a difference to me. But I feel your pain for those of you who didn't have it and you had to pay an extra $20 because now we're talking about spending $120 on a candle okay um i already had one so that didn't make a difference to me um the reason i tell you just go ahead and buy it is because i did try to find it cheaper in other places not necessarily buying the amazon brand or buying another brand they retail for the same price guys you're not really gonna save anything they are either 20 dollars, 18 dollars. i couldn't find it any cheaper <laughs> um and then that's it you're done with the box it's blue on the inside and then when you open this up, it comes in a plastic sleeve. Now the packaging for the Kindle reminds me a lot of like Apple's packaging. Very simple, very sleek. I like it, I like it. And then you have your um, Kindle. And on the back, it says Amazon. I got mine in white because my Nook was white. I prefer white. And so this is what it looks like with the ads. This background changes every time you your nook i mean i really gotta stop doing that every time your kindle goes to sleep you get a new background i don't know how many backgrounds there are but i still haven't seen more i haven't seen the same one twice so i'm sure it's like more than 30. um and so when you press the button your kindle automatically automatically turns on to where you are reading um, your book now what I like about this is that it looks like you're looking at a paper page so I'm gonna cl get close so you guys can see what I'm talking about okay and then it's just very simple so when I'm sorry about the glare so when you click on the top you just get your whole menu Okay, you click home, and right now I'm reading um, Sharp Objects. That's the book that I'm reading right now. Um, the first book I bought was The uh, Last Black Unicorn. If you like, like really good comedy books, that's for you. I know it's based on a true story, but it was hilarious. I almost feed myself like six times reading that book. And so, super quick backstory. I'm not the primary account holder for the Amazon Prime. It's my husband. And so when this Nook came, it came with all of his information. Um, it's really not a big deal, but it was a big deal to me um, because I just wanted everything to say my name on it, you know? And so basically, if you're the primary account holder, you have to send an invitation to whoever it is that you want to add onto the account. And then you just set up your Kindle accordingly. And so basically the, the Kindle um, has a light, which is a little sun right here. And then you can just, see, it just goes as bright as you want it to go, which is why I haven't turned on the light in this room because I got, wanted you guys to see what that looked like, okay? And now that, <laughs> now that we're able to see that, I am gonna turn on the light. Give me one second. I'm back all right um basically i just want to show you something um when you click on the book you're reading let's say there's a word in here you don't know the meaning of if you let's see let me pick one here um let's go with stones up here 
if you press and hold it, it's going to give you the definition of the word. Okay. Well, this is highlighted, but I'm not, I don't want to highlight it. Hold on a second. Let me just, I'll, I'll choose Creek. Hold on one second. Okay. All right. So you press and hold whatever word um, you don't understand and your Kindle will give you the definition on the bottom. And then you, um, it tells you what the definition is. It uses it in a sentence. Um, that has been very helpful for me. Uh, I, my Nook did not do that. And so when you, um, you have the option of keeping that word saved in like a note card. Your Kindle will save it for you and then it'll like pop up randomly or whenever you want to look at it until you memorize that word and you know exactly what it means and then you can click mastered and just go to the next thing. You can highlight sentences. So if you are somebody who likes to take notes, you can highlight it and then you click the note tab right there and you can create a note as to what you want to remember. So this is very techy, um, very useful. And if you're not a like techy person like me, this is fairly simple to use. You just got to get the hang of it. The touch technology on this is very, very good. My original Nook lagged a little bit, but it was good too. This is way faster, like 10 times faster. And when you want to go to the next page, you can either click or swipe. That's completely up to you. You also get to choose your own font, like what size you want your font. And it's right there. Like, so when you click on the corner of the Kindle, it's going to give you your toolbar and this little um, button will show up. You click on that and you can choose the size of your font. Um, what else do we got here? The most of the covers for this, when you close it, it automatically puts your Kindle to sleep. I don't have one of those um, covers. I like to keep my Kindle in a sleeve. And so what I use is um, a Vera Bradley leather um, sleeve that I got at the outlet. I think this cost me like $5. I know, what a steal. Um, basically, you click on, you have your charging port down here and then you have your um, home uh, button down here. When you click on that, your Kindle goes to sleep with a brand new um, cover. And then I just slide it in the sleeve and I put it in my purse. I take this everywhere I go. Um, and the reason why it was worth the extra money um, to not get the ads is because the backgrounds are super nice and I would hate to see a bunch of ads like constantly like popping up or floating around and never being able to appreciate the actual background. So in my opinion, that's important. And yes, it was worth the extra $20 that um, I had to spend on the Kindle. It is very light. It is very thin. Um, I want to give you really quick the dimension, the dimensions. So it's 6.7 inches in height and then it is um, 4.5 inches in length down here and then width is 9.1 millimeters okay super thin amazing if you had a first generation nook and you had the same problem as me this is a 10 times better alternative i'm happy i went with it and I hope that this was informative to you and that you found this at least a little bit entertaining. And thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and have a nice day, guys.